Welcome back, everyone, back here at ECMIT TV, live, brought live to you from Lisbon, Portugal, in Pavilion 1, where we are at the 32nd ECMIT Congress. We will be bringing you some very, very interesting content. As you may or may not know, ECMID um, always um, stimulates its participants to also tread a little bit beyond the science. Um, and also this year, uh, we have an art gallery, an ECMID art gallery. I would invite you to take a look at the art gallery. You can access it through the program because there's some very, very beautiful and interesting art um, that may inspire you to, uh, well, to look beyond the science yourself as well. And it, it, was, is, it is with great pleasure that today we are welcoming a number of um, artists, um, ECMID participants, um, today here in our live TV studio, but also through online stream. So we get the chance to hear from them themselves what their inspiration was to create their piece of artwork um, and, and which story they would like to, or message they would like to portray um, to all of you. So a warm welcome for the two uh, artists that's, uh, that are here with me in the live TV studio. We have on my far corner, we have Meeting Gupta and um, closer to me, Joanna Silva. And um, through live stream in a little bit, we will also be meeting uh, Eleni Ioannidou, Jessica Louise Benelli, and Joe Ka. So um, one by one, I'm going to invite them to tell us a little bit more about the art that they have submitted to our art gallery this year's ECMID um, and explain a little bit more about it. So Nitin, welcome Hi. Hi. all the way from India. Thank you. We have uh, seen some of your work last year also uh, on ECMID TV, which is wonderful. And also this year you have also um, entered um, two pieces of art, yeah. one of which we will be showing here in the ECMID TV, but um, I've heard that the other one is equally <laughs> inspiring and beautiful. So please look, at, look it up in the art gallery if you, if you can. Nitin, um, this is it? Yeah. Could you tell us a little bit more about your work? Yeah, so basically, uh, so this was right at the end of my fellowship, and me and my friends, we went out for uh, last trip as fellows, and so this was on a beach, and the sun was setting, and so uh, there was a guy who was making bubbles there on the beach, and there was this perfect bubble where, when it was just about to burst, I saw that, you know, it captures me and my friend's reflection in it, and I just clicked it and I So this is a photo you took yourself? Yes. And it's not edited? This no. was your, really your reflection in yes. the bubble? Yes, yes. Well, it's a gorgeous shot. I think yeah. anyone who is watching you. this will, uh, will, will have to co concur. Um, so this was taken at the beach yes. in India? In India. So there's this a summer? beach in Kochi. So we were taking a trip together to Kochi and on the beach. This is just at the time of sunset, and therefore you see this uh, plethora of colors there, and, and most of the reflections are my friends. Yes. And in the center, you can see I am taking the picture, <laughs> and so this is a piece of art that is very close to me. Yes, well, it's gorgeous. I think everyone will, will, will admit. Is, is there a specific reason also that you thought this would be, uh, be appropriate for the ECMID uh, art gallery? So or because you're rightfully so very proud of this <laughs> in this picture? Yeah, so, no. So, basically, I was uh, ending my fellowship in infectious disease uh, and I had made some good friends and associations that I'm treasuring. So I thought this is an infectious disease conference and maybe... Yeah, well, it's an excellent reason to share this yeah. with us. Thank you so Thank much. You. Joanna, shall we take a look at your yeah, piece sure. of art that you submitted, which I believe is a very local uh, yes. <laughs> piece of art because you are from Portugal yourself. Yes, I'm from Portugal and I work here in Lisbon. I'm from Porto. It's a beautiful city you should all visit. <laughs> uh, but once I work in Lisbon and ECMIT was in Lisbon, I thought, okay, it was nice to do something about this. And so I did the Torre de Belém, uh, where you can eat the pastéis de Belém, that we have the, the recipe in the, the book oh. of the ECMIT. There is the recipe of pastéis de Belém. This is a very good tip for all our viewers. Yeah. <laughs> then we have the, the bridge, Vincinc de Abril Bridge, 
that it's uh, an icon in Portugal. And we have the Eletrico, the tram, that we cannot see very well, but there is the destination is Ekmid. So oh, yes, I can see yeah. it. I'm up close. But, uh, <laughs> if you look it up in the art gallery on the program, you can also see that the tram yeah. is going to Ekmid. Yeah, so this is Artagar. Yep. I use different bacteria to, to do that. And that's it. And, and, and do you often make make art projects like this, or is okay. this a new I'm, thing for you? I'm not a really artistic person. Um, well, maybe I, I just think music. You cannot say that when just you show music. this. Just music. Yeah, but I'm from an artistic family, um, and when we were in a few Christmas, uh, like 2018, I believe, in our lab we did a Christmas tree with uh, plates and the guy with different uh, drawings. And wow. my colleagues uh, said to me, why don't you draw something for ECMID? And I did this. <laughs> that was a very good advice from yeah. your colleagues. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And it's also, I think it's wonderful that it comes together, us being here in Lisbon. Yeah. You working now in Lisbon, but yes. um, originally from Porto. Yeah. So what's the best thing about Porto? Well, everything. Not, well, the weather here is better. One. The weather here is better. Yeah. But Porto, it's a beautiful city. Everything is beautiful. And people are really warm people, so it's nice. Well, <laughs> it, it reflects in your art. Well, thank you so <laughs> thank much you. for coming here and explaining that to us. Um, next, I would like to hear from you, Eleni. I'm looking back at you, but you Hello. cannot uh, look right directly at me. Yes. Warm greetings from Greece. <laughs> Hello, Eleni. I thought you would be from Greece. Which part from Greece uh, are you from? I am uh, from the biggest island of Greece. Uh, yeah, we are in Crete, in Rethymnon. Okay, okay. And um, can we see your piece of art as well? I'm just... Yes, there it is. Um, Which technique did you use? It is um, uh, expired films and capsules. It is a mosaic. Um, the idea behind the creation of these mosaics was uh, born in the Solidarity Community Pharmacy, uh, where a part of the collecting, collected uh, medicines expired, and in order to recycle them properly, we separated them uh, from the packages, the pits, and then I noticed the colors and the shapes, and I thought that I could uh, use them as inlays, inlays to make uh, mosaics, and uh, this is the result. <laughs> well, it's an excellent mosaic. It's uh, it's really well 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 done, um, and the in the colors as well. And uh, yeah, wear a mask. Is that something you feel very very strongly about yourself? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I was inspired by the need to persuade people who were feeling suffocated of the whole idea of wearing a mask oh, at yeah. the beginning of the pandemic. Yeah. And uh, my mosaic uh, found its place on one of the walls of, the, of our hospital. I'm on duty now. <laughs> I'm in my office. And uh, I hope that it uh, helped promote the usefulness of the mask, of, the, of this me message. And, uh, and at the same time, uh, it put some color on our everyday life. And I believe it was very nice. Well, I could not th think of an even more fitting way to portray this important message. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. I think it's excellent. Please, uh, people, take a look uh, at the art gallery so you can uh, zoom in a little bit more on it and look, at, look it up up close. It's a really gorgeous mosaic. Um, Jessica, Louise. Hi. Hi. So Good where are you me. calling us from? Uh, I am from Brazil. Brazil. Here is good morning since I'm from Brazil. I live in Good the afternoon back most... from us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I live in the southernmost state of Brazil. Uh, my name is Jessica Benelli and I am a biomed biomedical science. I work in the University Hospital of Furgebser and uh, I am a researcher in Federal University of Rio Grande. Okay. Well, let, let, we'll just uh, bring up your piece of artwork because I'm very curious to see what you handed in. So this is a line drawing, I guess? Yes, yes. <laughs> and it's about COVID-19 and the neglected diseases. 
Do you want to go into that a little bit more for us? Sure, sure. I had never thought about drawing, drawing. but as a professional and a researcher working full time in a lab, I don't take off my eyes off the microscope. With this view and encouraged by the Famed Furgi Medical Mycology Research Group, I started to draw uh, fungal characters, giving life in the playful way uh, to the fungi uh, that I used to see in the cultures and the microscope. And since that my research colleagues and especially my supervisor, Melissa Xavier, like that. <laughs> my colleague, Rosana Basso, <clears throat> even named your fungal arts movement as mycologism because it's not surrealism, it's not impressionism, it's mycologism. <laughs> Many of my draws had become fungal mascots which yep. are revealed in our Instagram, Lab Miku Famed Furgi. Today, this kind of art has become part of uh, an extension, extension project we tend to disseminate and uh, popularize science. Yeah. Uh, about this specific cartoon about the COVID-19 and neglected disease, uh, come through a daily online challenge of scientific illustrations, Inside.tober, in which I decide to participate immediately. Uh, the theme of the first day was COVID. Despite the need to talk about the pandemic, all the spotlights were focused on it. This was a way to say that we also need to continue raising awareness about other medical important infectious diseases that have not stopped occurring around the world. They're still here. <laughs> yes, exactly. In my doctoral thesis, we published a case report of non-COVID patients which was late diagnosed with a typical disseminated cryptococcosis in an AIDS patient, resulting in death after being investigated just for COVID. Thus, when saw the, the theme of this gallery, I thought we need to scream that despite the shadow of the COVID, Fungal disease and other neglected diseases are still here. We are still here, and that should not be forgotten. Not every cough is COVID, not every fever is COVID. Even a pandemic, we cannot restrict our diagnosis hypothesis so much. We scream for attention. Amid of the calls of the health service, the overload of professionals and the general fear. However, we have to keep saying we are still here so that we are not forgotten, neglected and responsible for countless preventable deaths if correctly diagnosed and treated. Yeah. So yeah, well, I thank you. Yeah, this is a really important message and I, I think uh, well, maybe the people at ECMID won't neglect them that much, but um, you definitely gave them a face, a real face, uh, by, by creating this very powerful tool to uh, portray this message uh, to the world. So thank you very much for sharing also your inspiration to draw the cartoon with us. Thank, um, you. <laughs> thank you. Joe, so we have Joe Ka. Hi, Joe. Hi, hi. So Thank where you. are you from? Um, I'm from Germany, Frankfurt, Germany. I work in a, a laboratory. I'm very much involved with um, Corona on a diagnostic um, level. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's a huge part. Um, yeah, that's true. But we have all others going on, like um, Jessica, um, uh, Jessica, right, um, said before. Yeah. yeah. And um, and I like very much to paint and create art. And yeah, in addition. So you didn't start specifically just for the ECMID Art Gallery. You, you no, work. You no, no, no. I'm I'm um, 
I'm, I'm pretty much um, involved in artistic um, stuff, um, lots of paintings. I mean, it's, of course, it's, it's a time issue. Yeah. Um, but it's also very nice to have a, a balanced um, uh, thing going on in your life. Yeah. So, Between yeah, the work I, and the science and also something that inspires you right. as well. And once my children were out um, of that age where they always yell for their mama, ah. <laughs> Um, I, I started again to paint. Yes. Great. Well, let's have a look at your piece of uh, submitted artwork. Gladly. So, who are we seeing here? Um, yeah, that's distancing. And um, I actually, I, I painted this um, in the early summer uh, 2020. And um, when you look back at that time, um, we had the corona pandemic going on and um, the first um, horrible pictures from Bergamo, Italy, yeah. also from Germany, we are just starting to fade away a little bit. So all that dra drama and the death and the, the heartbreaking um, um, death of, of uh, thousands of people um, were just fading a little bit because it was summer. People want, wanted to go out and forget about the pandemic. Yeah. And um, at the same time, as an artist, I was preparing for a, for a pretty big exhibition that fall. And um, the theme of that exhibition was um, Back to Future. And so it came together. Um, when you, um, uh, of course, when, when you hear pandemic, uh, the first thing that springs to mind, I guess, is um, the last horrible pandemic that we had just 100 years ago, the Spanish flu. Mm. Um, and no one actually had expected that um, to, to happen um, with, with that explosion worldwide um, um, again. So, yeah, um, this, um, the preparations for that exhibition, um, Back to Future, and, um, and what was going on, um, at the same time with um, the horrors just starting to fade away and actually there was one other um, um, uh, point um, which left me a bit frustrated so um, we didn't have any more thousands of very uh, sick COVID-19 patients mm -hmm. um, um, at ICU, but uh, just a few. And um, so people thought actually, yeah, the pandemic, it's over. And um, people, um, even, even, even important physicians in Germany um, were discussing whether it was necessary to wear masks. Mm. And that was, pretty much frustrating, I think. So we had nothing learned, it seemed to me, at that time when I started From since to the paint. Spanish flu, yeah. Right. Yeah. There was just nothing that we had learned. Um, so um, it seemed to me at that time point. And um, yeah, it was a bit out of frustration about that, that I painted this. And, did, 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 did the painting of this, uh, this piece of work help you alleviate the frustration a little bit? Yeah, or doesn't it work like that? Yes, um, yeah. the frustration is still going on because yeah. um, uh, back then we didn't even have the vaccination, um, the vaccine, yeah. and uh, we had no therapy at that time. Point. No. So we just had the, the barrier and hygiene measurements and, and those are so simple and yet so effective. And um, all this discussion that is going on um, 
whether it's necessary anymore, um, this is still a bit frustrating, I think. Yeah. yeah. But the painting is optimistic too, I think. I mean, it's a young woman, obviously healthy. She has a rosy glow in her cheeks and um, she is a um, bit pondering, melancholic. But um, she will go her way. She will go her way to the future and, yeah, hopefully leaving also the mask uh, yeah. and the pandemic um, behind her. Yeah, you, you really seem to manage, I, I think, the, 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 or to capture the, the pondering and the, well, the insecurity and the uncertainties that that time uh, period yeah. really brought yeah. along. Yeah. And I see behind you, uh, I see, I think, other works you made yourself on the floor and uh, yeah. behind you, right? Yeah, yeah, that's so, uh, true. It, it so yeah. uh, it seems to me that you were, were, were um, rightfully selected here to show your work on ECMID TV from the ECMID Art Gallery. Um, I'd like to um, um, invite our viewers once more please check out the art gallery. We will be having another interview session with a selection of artists, but there's some really, really great, inspiring um, work uploaded on the art gallery. So please take a look. For now, I would like to thank you, uh, Nitin and Joanna, thank for you. coming in here live in our ECMID TV studio. And I'd like to thank Eleni, Jessica, and Joe um, for taking the time and coming online to explain us some more about your artwork. So thank you a lot for that. Thank you very much. And thank we you. will be back here with our viewers at 4 o'clock. Um, and then we will be having an interview with our keynote speaker, Professor Alison Holmes. So we will be talking a little bit more about the topic she's discussing in one of her keynote lectures and fireplace sessions. So please join us again at 4. See you then.